father's son, Evan, and Carrie's son, Eva. So that's who will be coming over that hill shortly. So probably the most important is the, the parents after that. So we have Oscar and Rosemary, Carrie's mom and dad here. And I'm just going to run through this through here, which I have to write names down because there's too many of you. <laughs> These farm folks, they get going, they don't stop. So I think it's Andy and Tara, yeah. right? And the four boys, yes. who uh, one of them told me they want to get married today, too. But, uh, <laughs> sure so it's Calvin, four C's, Calvin, Carter, Charlie, and Connor. Hey, guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we have uh, Carrie's sister, Evelyn. Do we call you Evelyn? Evie. Evie? Evelyn. Yeah. And her husband, Jason. I'm not going to say that you're hard to miss Jason, really. uh, um, And there's uh, three kids, Amari. I'm going to get the name right. Andriana, right? Adrian. Adriana. <laughs> and Denye. Yes, yes. The first time. Right, that's why I asked you. I wanted to get it right. Thank you. Uh, so we have also Nick, uh, Lexi's friend. I'm not going to say boyfriend Nick. Oh, I did. Sorry. But, um, and Dickie who's the new household uh, guest of uh, Carrie and Trevor, who just arrived from Spain a few days ago. So I think I've got everyone here. Yep. yep. So over here we have um, Trevor's dad and his wife, uh, Bill and Leslie, and Trevor's mom, Charlene. Um, we have Trevor's aunt, Audrey. And from our Mugford crew, um, myself and my friend Grace, we're in from Vancouver. My brother Kev and his um, wife Linda, they're in from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. And my sister uh, Monica and her husband Graham, and they're from Cape Breton. And we have Nicole, uh, Evan's better half. <laughs> <laughs> and so Nicole, another Nicole, will be providing music for us today. And Carrie is our photographer. And on that note, Evan's antsy, so we can, we're good to go.
So we made it here. We had, I think I had to give Ned nudge a trap to go through. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. Um, I know Trev and, and Carrie are ecstatic that their immediate family and friends um, can be here today. And it's a special day and a wonderful day, and they're glad you can share it with them. So why marriage? Why take that next step? So uh, Becky and Lexi are going to just read a few words and uh, lead us into the ceremony today. Okay. Marriage is a commitment to sharing, a partnership of the best two people can find and bring out in each other. Within the circle of it, love, marriage, encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and husband are each other's best friend, confidant, lover, teacher, listener, and critic. Marriage encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences, new ways of expressing love that is deeper than life. Marriage depends and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger. And even anger is felt more strongly, yet passes away more quickly. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. So you can hand this to Thank you. <laughs> so, we're going to tell a little story first. Now, I heard this story from Becky years ago. Oh, boy. But um, <laughs> I, I kind of solidified it the last few days. And it's about uh, when Trevor and Carrie met first. So, I'm going to read it for the most part because I want to make sure I get it right. But for those who don't know the story, the beginning of their partnership of uh, Trevor and, and Carrie... Start started fittingly um, with a, a hair straightener. Not mine. <laughs> so Trev at the time might have needed a hair straightener, but he, he's, he's good today. Um, Trev was sent on an errand. He was sent on an errand to Carrie's salon to pick up a hair straightener from Carrie for Becky. So when Trev met Carrie, you know, there was a sparkle. A little bit of uh, some interest of pursuing a relationship. I even heard that uh, it was Carrie that they were pursuing a little bit <laughs> and did the chase it initially. But Trev quickly realized uh, what a wonderful special lady she was. And so um, they went on a date or two. And that date started in secrecy um, because Becky, um, when was asked by Trevor, hey, Beck, like, what do you think? You know, me and Carrie. And Beck said, Dad, no way. <laughs> if you start dating Carrie... It'll be weird for me. And I'll lose my hairdresser. And that can't happen. <laughs> She's the best hairdresser ever. <laughs> so Trev didn't listen, Carrie didn't listen, and they went off and had their few dates. And um, then, of course, fell in love. And now Becky has gained a wonderful friend, kept her hairdresser, and even gets discounts. <laughs> So today, uh, Trev and Carrie, your marriage is a beautiful celebration of your love and your commitment to one another. May your happiness grow deeper, your friendship grow stronger, and your romance sweeter. As you continue your journey together, may the everyday moments you share bring you closer. May the happiness touch all of you throughout your beautiful lifetimes together as partners and as friends, and in love and in lasting truth. Um, my sister Monica, Trev Sands, is going to read a piece. The art of marriage. The little things are big things. It is never too old to hold hands. It is remembered to say, I love you, at least once a day. You hear that part, Trev? I at heard. least once a day. <laughs> it's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking each other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue for years. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in every thoughtful way. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo 
or the wife to wear wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and the big one, a sense of humor. It is, ha is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which to grow. It is finding room for things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal. Dependency is mutual and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not marrying the right partner. It is being the right partner. And we know from watching you guys over the last few years, we've gotten to know Carrie and we know Trevor. We know that you guys are on the right step. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Monica. So marriage vows are a promise each partner makes to one another in love and a representative of your commitment to one another. So today, Carrie and Trevor have written their own personal vows they'd like to share with each other. Trevor, thank you for coming into my life at the right time. I believe that things happen for a reason, a season, and forever. And you are my forever. I feel like the luckiest woman in the world today, getting married to such an amazing man. You are smart, kind, thoughtful, caring, loving, and a little quirky. You make life exciting, and there's never a dull moment. I wanted to thank you for loving me for just the way that I am, with my stubbornness and determinations to do things now, not later, now. For many, my many, many lists and my famous words, I promise just one more thing. No matter what I ask for, you are always by my side with only a little bit of grumbling. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Not only did you open your heart to me, you also opened up to my kids. I see the love that you have for them and I know that they can count on you as much as I can count on you. You go out of your way to make life easier and less stressful. Well, as long as we're not on a project together. <laughs> we have so many ventures, and I can't wait to see for more to come. Life is never a dull moment with you around. I love the fact that you can be yourself and let loose. It makes me feel like I'm the normal one. <laughs> on a serious note, I promise I will always make you laugh, even if it's at my own expense. I promise I will always have a list ready for you, just in case you say I'm bored. I promise I will always have your back, and I will support your dreams. I promise I will love you. I promise I will make you feel loved, wanted, and needed every day. I promise to give you more than half of the bed and almost all the covers, but only in the summer. And I promise that at least, I promise you, I promise to let you win at least one game of crib and only gloat once in a while. And last but not least, I will always be a rock. I fought hard to read mine first and I lost, so. Carrie, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I can't express how much better life has been with you as my support. Things haven't always been easy, and I know there will be challenges yet to come. But I know there isn't anyone I'd want to face them with but you. I've been lucky to find a true partner in every area. I promise to love you and care for you, and will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I will be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. But most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal friend to you. I love you. And I started on the wrong side. So, I'd never have imagined when I went to your house to get that straightener that we would be here today. At the time, I just needed a friend, and you were that. Bringing me food when I was hurt many times, on crutches and couldn't get around. 
and including me in your activities whenever I would let you. You've always given me just what I needed, and you still do today. I love you. Okay, guys, we're going to do it. We are gathered here today to witness the formal joining of Trevor Matthews and Carrie Bellman in legal matrimony according to the custom and law prevailing by the government of the province of Manitoba. Trevor, please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I do not know of any lawful impediment that I do not know of any lawful impediment why I, Trevor Matthews, why I, Trevor Matthews, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Carrie Billman. To Carrie Billman. <laughs> Carrie, please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare, I solemnly declare, that I do not know of any lawful impediment, that I do not know any lawful impediment, why I, Carrie Billman, why I, Carrie Billman, may not be joined in matrimony, may not be joined in matrimony, to Trevor Matthews. So facing each other, we need you to repeat this okay. as well. Please repeat after me, Trevor. Um, no, we do not need the ring yet. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Trevor Matthews. Sit. To witness that I, Trevor Matthews. Do take you, Carrie Bellman. Do take you, Carrie Bellman. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Carrie, I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons present. To witness that I, Carrie Billman. To witness that I, Carrie Billman. Do take you, Trevor Matthews. Do take you, Trevor Matthews. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Now we need the rings. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who, who's first up? Trevor, you are first. Okay. So Trevor, place the ring on the third finger of Carrie's left hand. And repeat after me. Okay. Okay. We have time. Go ahead. You ready? No. Backwards. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Ready. Please repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. And this ring is a symbol of my love. And this ring is a symbol of my love. You can side one. Carrie, please place the ring of the third finger of Trevor's left hand. You got it? I got it. Okay. Repeat <laughs> after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. I shall love, honor, and cherish thee. And this ring is a symbol of my love. And this ring is a symbol of my love. Slide around. Okay, we're gonna slide over to the table and we're gonna sign the register. And we can. Here, let's see. You gotta come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Kentucky. <laughs> so, I, Alan Mugford, by virtue of the powers vested in me by the Marriage Act and the province of Manitoba, do hereby pronounce you, Trevor Matthews, and you, Carrie Billman, to be married. Myself, along with your friends and family, wish you a life of wonderful happiness together. May the vows you make here today sustain you forever. You may celebrate your marriage with a kiss. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Okay, follow up behind us. <laughs> so folks, I think we can hang out here. You can have a little bubbly. Everyone, I think, knows that the dinner and reception starts at 6 in the Cinnaboyan Park. I don't know the name of the restaurant. Um, so, uh, yeah, get to know each other a little bit better and um, hug the bride and groom. What we'd like to do before everybody leaves is do pictures. So we'd like to get a big group picture with everybody, and then we'll just do the families. Okay, so so Carrie, maybe the easiest thing to do would be have everybody just stand up and turn around. Good, good. Let's get Terry and Trevor right in the middle aisle, and let's kind of put the wedding party. Thank you. I hope I didn't walk in front of it during those book signings. No, 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 it's, all it's all good? Yeah. All right. That's Trevor's. Oh, oh, yeah, he's oh, right oh, all perfect. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Come on out here, guys. Yay! Thank you. You guys can share that. 
exclusively? <laughs> well, you can go there and um, it's one of the first things they have. Really? Hey, okay. They call it sparkling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I always thought it was yeah, like it's very bougie. Like, so 